pet needs to do something quickly before it runs too late. Fingers crossed, come on Blues, sit it till we die. And then uh, just spent another uh, half to think about it, three days before. Well this is the night before the big game against Arsenal here at the Manchester City Supporters Club annual dinner. It's their 75th anniversary and as you can imagine the room is dotted with ex-City players. So let's get a few views from them before the big game tomorrow. I have to say, this time last year, I thought City played the best game of the season to beat Arsenal. I'm hoping they could do something like that tomorrow. I know we've got a few injuries, but um, we always seem to rise to the challenge and it's a very, very big game, needless to say. And I'm very positive, hoping that City can get the result they need. Is it a title this side, do you think? No. No. This, this point's going to be won and lost from now till the end of the season by all the teams involved. Uh, and it's just a matter of who, who at the end keeps the composure and uh, does the business at the end. I think um, we've got just as good a chance as, uh, as the other two. So, come on, let's, uh, let's go for it, eh? It'll be a tough game, but uh, we're equipped for big games. We're playing against sides like Arsenal. And uh, the Arsenal manager might think he's got a few secrets of it. Yeah, we'll win some more. Both teams are missing players, but I think we've got enough strength in depth to, uh, to win it. Does it feel like a title decider? I'd like to say yeah, but I think there's a lot more permutations before we finish this season, don't you? It's a massive game to be truthful. You know, we've had a few injuries, but um, I think we'll do it. We'll get a win. Are Arsenal City's main rivals, or is it Liverpool? I'd say Liverpool. I'd say Liverpool, yeah. We're out growing on site. You may see recently we're expanding and building a new facility for our women's first team as well. Um, and we're doing more. I mean, it's always going to be a hard game uh, for City. Like I said, Arsenal are doing you know, exceptionally well, as Liverpool are as well. But uh, so is City. So it's going to be a massive game tomorrow. You know, whoever can get three points tomorrow are probably going to be favourites for this title. So just hope it's City. We've got to win. Can't afford to lose any more games now. Uh, I think we can do it. Arsenal seem to bottle it near the end of the season, don't they? So, so hopefully we'll win. Is everybody fit? I don't know. Well, there's a couple of injuries, but a... I'm asking people whether it's a title decider potentially. Do you think it's that big? They all they all are now. Every single game. We can't afford to drop games, drop points now. So yeah, yeah, we should do it. We're the best team in the land, aren't we? Well, there's only one thing on my mind, a win for the Blues, to be honest. Will they do it, though? I think so, definitely. Uh, it's going to be a very tough game, a tight game. But my head tells me that they're going to get over the line tomorrow. Are Arsenal City's main challenges now, or Liverpool? Oh, well, I, I wouldn't exactly say that because Liverpool are just behind there. I see it going very close to the wire, but tomorrow is a very, very big game for the title race. You know what I feel about the game tomorrow, it's going to be bloody hard. Um, I hope it's good, well, it's got the makings of one of the classic games and uh, I'm just looking forward to seeing the two, two great footballing teams. Um, and the best team will win. Will that best team be sitting? Hopefully. I never give predictions, I never give these nail-biting time, squeaky bum time at this part of the season. Well, it's an hard game. I think it's going to go a long way towards the uh, title race, but uh, we can say it's not going to be over tomorrow, whoever wins. You think City will win, though? Well, they're doing well, but and then but Arsenal are playing well at the moment, so I like to sit on the fence on this one. I think we've got more experience and the, the will to win. And, you know, we've won it that many times, we're going to do it. I think the season's come along now, we've been a bit of adrenaline from last year, you know, has gone down, but I think they're ready to kick on the last. Come on, this city. Well, that was yesterday, now it's match day. Feeling confident, I think we'll, uh, I think we're going to win 3 1. So that gives you that confidence. Just about Pep Sock in his press conference after last season and De Bruyne, Grealish, Mark Harland. I've just got my feeling. You think City's going to go on and win the league then? Or? I think we're going to win all three. Especially with a documentary coming out on Tuesday. It's perfect timing and it's going to get everyone fired up. 
Oh, I'm feeling good. What are you two thinking? I'm, I'm, I'm feeling, feeling very confident. confident. Um, Look at the camera. All day, um, we might have some tough challenges, but I think that Grealish could control the game a lot. And Grealish could pass around them because Zinchenko is more of a dribble guy. And so is Gabrielli. They're more of a dribble than a passing team. So Grealish can pass around them. And yeah, I'm feeling very confident and I think City will go on to win the league because we always find a way out to do it. Do I'm feeling very confident. I think we're going to smash them. I think 3-1. Um, I think Grealish as well, like you said. And I think I'm feeling confident and I think we're going to win the treble again. A little bit nervous. Got a few injuries, haven't we? Um... To be honest with you, uh, it's a little bit heartbreaking. You know, getting injuries, injuries when we played in just a friendly. But uh, but no, um, I think it's a, I think it's a massive game. You know, I mean, the, the Arsenal friends that I have, they're saying, oh, we'd take a draw. No, I think we need the three points today. I think you know, you got we're coming down the home home straight-ish a little bit. We need to make um, a bit of a statement. We need to beat our rivals, don't we? To be honest, we're at home. You know, so. Uh, I won't be happy with a draw today. I think we need the three points, yeah. You want the knockout punch still? Yeah, every... absolutely, mate, yeah. I think it's going to be a draw today. That's, I think they've come, they've come here to um, not get beat. Um, but I'm hoping with De Bruyne and all the, the big guns we've got, I think we'll turn it up today. You know, I think we'll, we'll, we'll do them. Yeah, 100%. Where does we've that got to win. City, whatever, if it is a draw, yeah. where does that leave City in the title race? Well, it's, I think it's 1 1 at the minute, Liverpool. Um, I think it's just it's wide open. We've got 10 games, 9, 10 games to go. Um, I just think we've, we've been there before. You know, we've all been to Istanbul with the feeling. I, I, I predict it, I said to a lot of friends of mine, if we, if we get a result today, and we get a result uh, against Chelsea in the FA Cup, I think the double tri the double trebles on, 100%. I can't see any team beating us on the two-legger, obviously, for the Champions League. I think them two games are, are crucial. So, that's it, really. And, um, yeah, looking forward to it. Even brought me mate here, uh, my best mate, over, and he's a, I say he's a red, but he's a, he's a bit of a blue as well, so a neutral. Uh, is that, is that, can you be a red and a blue? No. no. <laughs> I've just got to keep your mouth shut, that's all. <laughs> what do you think today? I think the boss going to get two scores for us today. Yeah. I just, I mean, it's one all with Liverpool at the moment. I mean, City, I think Arsenal's going to just come here knowing, knowing they're on top. They can just park the bus and go away with the point. They'll be happy with the point. So, Enjoy the game, boys. Hopefully we go to fisticuffs. Yeah. Come on, City. <laughs> See you later. Yeah. I'm thinking that the injuries to Walker and Stones might hurt us. I'm hopeful that the people that are going to fill in will do just as good a job and I'm going for a narrow win. Title decided today? No, because I still think we've got those tougher fixtures that other clubs don't have in the run-in. And um, Aston Villa, even if we win today, Aston Villa could still surprise us like they did uh, at the end of last season when they went 2-0 up. Personally, today, my opinion is it's going to be a 3 1 win for City. Arsenal are going to do it because it's in their day and DNA. As the pressure builds, they fold. Hopefully, I'm right. We'll see you later. Frustrating, uh, you know. I think both teams are really cancelling each other out. It's been, uh, I think, possession-wise, Man City have probably had their, their brand. But I think, you know, there's been few, not been many chances, has it? A couple of half chances. But you know, I think it's it's not been it's not been as entertaining as we all wanted anyway. You think they're nervous the two teams? I don't think they are. I just think I think Arsenal are really organised and structured, you know, and they're sticking to the game plan. I think Man City have. Uh, you know, they've tried to get in behind. You've had one or two where De Bruyne and De Silva have, you know, got good crosses in, but not much movement in the uh, in the box. Uh, I think Arsenal defensively have, you know, worked really hard. I think uh, I think Man City have, you know, they've got to try and get folded on the ball a little bit more in, in, in good areas for me. Yeah. 
on us even, stalemate, hard work really, but we, could, we needed the three points there, but unfortunately, we didn't get it. It's not end, of the, not end of the season, I don't think, but games are narrowing now, we haven't got many left, so hopefully they'll slip up, we won't. Disappointed with obviously the result and also Arsenal's general time wasting and they know nasty fouls I thought but frustrated really. Where do you think that leads the title race now? <laughs> I don't know really. I think um, yeah, I'm, I'm not sure. Slightly concerned. Does that make Liverpool the favourites now, or are you still I'll confident say- that City can do another one four in a row? Yeah, I don't know. I'm worried about Liverpool, but I'm an anxious soul, so there you go. <laughs> what did you think of that? Uh, should have got the win, really. I thought they were, they were dirty and we could have done, I don't know, like, we did well to keep the clean sheet, but could have, could have shot or something. Another big game now on Wednesday, isn't it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it's my birthday, so let's do it. Not the best to me, to be honest. Yeah, yeah. Not players. I don't know. Yeah. I'm not slagging anyone off, but not the best. What does this lead the title race, do you think? I think it's looking like Liverpool, mate, but we've just got to keep going, haven't we? You know, if we keep going, we'll be OK. We'll be there or thereabouts. You know, we've got to have faith, haven't we? Was it the best today? A bit disappointed. Just a bit lacklustre, wasn't it? I mean, Arsenal looked like they came here just hoping out and holding out for that point, which you know they've done and uh, yeah it's just um, just a bit of a lacklustre game no kind of urgency to anything you know De Bruyne looked a little bit slow today Haaland didn't offer anything unfortunately again um, I feel like that's going to be a real pivotal moment in this title race I feel Liverpool now I'm not, I haven't looked at the league table but I'm sure they've got a few points ahead now so we'll have to wait and see nine more games wait and see City, I don't know if you know this, but City haven't actually beat one of the teams in the top yeah, four. Yeah, in the top four, top six, I think, yeah. You know, we've had bad results here. Palace being 2 0 Chelsea four all away. Chelsea draw here, where we had to grind hard for that. And I feel like the more we're trying to grind out the results now, that we're struggling. We're struggling at home the last couple of games. And yeah, it's just, you know, something needs to start clicking now. De Bruyne and that needs to start coming back slowly into it. but. I'm sure we'll still be up there in May. Look at the results that we've had, you know, not beating a top four side like you said there, and we're still up there. We're still in and amongst the group, so. Some big games to come. Massive up Spurs Sunday. away, yeah. Chelsea in the FA Cup, Real Madrid, you know, it's all going to start coming thick and fast now up until May, so, you know, we'll be there, and I'm confident in the group, but we'll hope and see. Wait and see. Just to let you know, this is now my 115th home match in a row without missing one is my biggest ever achievement because I suffered bad anxiety in the past so to be able to come to 150 uh, what I thought of that is mixed feelings before the game I said as long as we didn't lose I'd be happy I wanted to win but sometimes you have to take your hats off and say they are a good side they don't lose many, but we didn't lose. So, you know, look at how they battered teams like Sheffield. I just don't know if we're going to win the league, but you never say never because it might be a final day where a QPR. So never say never, Ian. Well done on your achievement. You're welcome. See you, mate. Well, Ian, I think... We've still got a chance, we're, we're still in with a mathematical chance of winning it, but there's, there's a, something missing this year, and it's a lack of desire, playing people out of position, you know, folding out, out on the wing, you should be playing in the middle, De Bruyne not quite at it. I don't know what it is, Ian, but there's something not quite right this year, and I think we're going to fall short this year. Finish top three, but quite not quite going to do it. I think we maybe Champions League, but we've got to, we're missing two players. Playing four centre halves across the back line, playing the Kanji as a winger to cross balls in when when De Bruyne is four yards away from him, it's it, it's there, it's staring in the face. But Pep needs to do something quickly before it runs too late. Fingers crossed. Come on, Blues, sit till we die. 
As ever then, that's the story before and after a big game at the Etihad against Arsenal. It was great being at the 75th anniversary of the official supporters club. I didn't capture it on video, but there was also a banner in the south stand uh, protesting against the increase of season tickets. So there's a lot of things that City fans are thinking about, talking about and also frustrated about today, particularly uh, with the nil-nil draw against Arsenal. As ever, thanks very much for watching. Thanks very much to uh, the people who support me. So at MotoringOffenseLawyers.com, uh, one of the Spence sponsors, Kenway Miller. Also to RRG Group, which of course have a series of garages around the northwest, particularly Toyota Rochdale, who I deal with a lot and who are fantastic. So thanks very much to them and to Timson. Um, so thanks very much to Timson. I'll be doing an audio podcast after this one with Clive Wilson, another city name from the past, giving us his verdict on this game, along with a couple of fans. So check that out. And of course, I'll be here again at the Etihad Stadium for the Aston Villa game on Wednesday evening. So if you're out and about, come and say hello. And thanks very much for watching. And even on a day when it's a bit frustrating and things not quite as good as they could be, you know what? It's great to be a blue.